Now let's simplify these expressions involving exponents. So starting with number 1, we have 3y to the power of 7 entirely cubed all over 9y to the power of 9. Okay, so my first step will be to cube everything. So 3 cubed is 27. y to the power of 7 cubed is y to the power of 21 because we just multiplied the 7 and the 3 all over 9y to the power of 9. Great. And just in case, I'll just explain this um, step by step. Every time that we have parentheses, an exponent over here, and that is to an exponent, we just multiply them. Right? So that's what, how we got the 21. So 27 over 9, we can cancel this, these out. That's just 3, because 27 divided by 9 is 3. And here we have y to the power of 21 divided by y to the power of 9. 21 minus 9 is just 12. We are dividing, so we subtract exponents. And that's as far as it can go. Let's make a rectangle there. There we go. Okay, how about question number 2? Or expression number 2? That was blunt. So we have a negative exponent. We have the negative 2 there. I will put it over to the 2. I'll apply it to the 2. So we have 2 to the power of negative 2. And we also need to apply it to the b to the power of negative 3. So negative 3 times negative 2 is just positive 6. And that's just all over... Oh, well, that was incredibly straight. Great. Um, all over 2b to the power of 4. Okay, so how do, what do we do over here? 2 to the power of negative 2. Well, I can in fact just send this down to the bottom, thereby making this exponent positive. How wonderful. And over here, we have b to the power of 6 over b to the 4. So immediately, I can just go and change this to b to the power of 6 minus 4. Because again, we're dividing. And when we're dividing, we subtract exponents. And 2 to the power of negative 2 became 2 squared down at the bottom. So the negative exponent became positive by going from the numerator to the denominator. And we still have the 2 over here, though. This 2 just came over here. Okay, so 6 minus 4 is 2, so that's just b squared all over 2 squared is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so we have b squared over 8 that's it fully simplified